What's up guys, Duckman Gaming here, and we're continuing our Let's Play as Skyrim. I know it's been a week, but uh, we're going to speak to the Greybeards. We have to go up this damn mountain, and it's going to take me all damn day to get up there. But anyway, yeah, my computer died, and then I restored it, and then it died again, and then I beat the shit out of it and threw it over against the wall and it stayed there for a couple days, and then I got set up and restored it again, and then it's working again. I'm kind of hoping it stays this way. I don't know if it's going to or not, but I have hope. <laughs> yes, I do. So we're back with Miss Erica here. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get away from town because they're kind of pissed at me. I don't know. I accidentally punched a bitch in the face, and now they start chasing me. It wasn't really fair. But whatever. We have to go all the way up here. I can't promise that I'm gonna record this whole damn trip of me going up here, but I'll record the first bit of it and the end of it. <laughs> it's so funny because actually. While I had that little break of me not having my laptop, I um, I, mean, I was playing as Erica a lot, and she's changed a lot since how she looks now. And I plan on kind of doing the same shit that I did in the last five hours of the game that I've been playing. I guess I kind of I'm gonna like repeat it again, you could say. But we're gonna see what I do differently and what I don't. It's not too much I do differently. I've already done this so many times. I know this game so well. But yeah, we're just gonna continue up this hill and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I guess for starters, my run button has been sticking, so that might cost us my life a few times. I don't know. <laughs> you guys miss me? <laughs> you miss me while I was gone? I don't know. I haven't been getting that many plays in my Mario videos, so I'm kind of glad that series is done. Kind of took like a break for a week. <laughs> I had the Mario stuff already recorded, and I was able to actually upload that before I lost all my files on my computer, so. So it's been a struggle getting this thing to work again and getting my programs back, but I did. I did it. Did it for you guys. Yes, I did it because I have no other hobbies besides this. <laughs> and wolf. So now I'm eventually going to run into a, a, a snow, snow guy up here. He's going to be a told to run, you bitch. He's going to be a told douche. He's going to try to fill me up and all that stuff, but I'm gonna try to make a pass in. I also think I'm gonna run into this girl up here. I think I'm going to kill her and steal her crown and take it for my own. Yes. That's like a good idea to me. See how I'm, I'm like pressing the run button. She ain't running. God damn it, she fucking showered instead. There you go. I don't know what's over this run button. This kinda kinda don't work sometimes. Sometimes it works perfect, sometimes it don't. I don't know. It does sound weird. Like, I was recording earlier and it had like a little echo. My mic's not performing as good as it was. Like I said, I don't really know if I really want to record all this and you walking up here. It's already three minutes in here and we've just been walking. I think they've been running, but they haven't been running too well. Isn't the sky pretty at night? I've been playing in HD. I enjoy this a lot better in HD. Just saying. That lady I was talking about. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill her. It's gonna take me a minute to kill her. She has life. That girl is pretty good, bitch. Shit. I've only killed you. You know, not because I'm a bad person, but because you have valuable stuff. And you have this. This is what I want the most. I want me lady to have a crown. I'm sorry you had to die because of that, but you know. Tough shit is on Skyrim, you know, you die if you have something I want, you know. Not so much for real life, but for Skyrim. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's fucking see it. There it is. Hell yeah. Eric's looking sharp. But just wait. Just wait until I find the uh, outfit that I want to give her. I already know where it is, too. I just have to do a couple more missions. I'll probably get it in the next Let's Play, maybe. Because after this Greybeard, they're gonna like send me on this mission to go get this thing. We're gonna have to go through a dungeon. And then, and then I'll have to go after another dragon. And then I'll be able to get the outfit I want while on that quest. It's a really sexy outfit. It shows off the body probably the most that you can actually show off your body on this game. But um, yeah, this is where that guy is. See him up there? We can't fight him. If he wants a piece of this, you can get a piece of this. He will destroy this. So we're gonna run past him, and if he hits us more than three times, he's fucked. So we're just gonna 
not let him do that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I actually fought him my first time playing this game or not, but... Hey, I didn't want to fight him now. I'm gonna knock the hell out of me. So yes, it's been five minutes of me walking up this hill. Punch it. We are almost there though. And these great beards are going to show us the way of the force. We are going to learn that one of them is my father. Yes. His name is Darth Vader. Yes. So if you hear Rumpchus in the background, my cat is playing with a toy. He is very loud. He only likes to do his shit when I'm recording. Almost there. I'm gonna do my little wait so she can regen regenerate her damn running power. Alright. Run faster. Look at the pretty sky. Pretty, but he's more pretty. Look at the actual place. We have made it. it should be right around this corner somewhere. Why you take so long to get the one spot to another? Yes! There it is! We have made it! And if you can tell from the last video, I kind of skipped the journey to the very beginning of these stairs. Because it was serious, it took me like 15 minutes to get to the beginning of those stairs when we started. But yeah, it took me 7 minutes to get here. So we journeyed up here. It looks very, very pretty. And, um... Yeah. We can now... We can now teleport here. Now that we have found this place. Wouldn't it be more convenient in life if you could just, uh fast travel once you've been to a place. <laughs> and I've been in New York, New York a couple of times, it'd be nice to say, okay, fast travel to New York, and just be at New York right now. Fast travel back home. It'd be really convenient. Anyway, it's time to learn the way of the Force. So, the Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. There I am. I'm answering your summon. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Alright, you wanna see my pitch? Wait, oh, my voice. Okay. Um, sure, I'm gonna come over here and be like this. Yeah, I make mess. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Rothgar. Thank you, it's for being here. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. I know this. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I've come here because I do not know who I am. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. All right. Without training. I can't hear him. He's just bitching that without training, I've already took the first steps toward projecting my voice. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. All shouts oh, are made good. up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will be progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you roll. Second word in the force. Peter, who are you? Roll Show me another word. Balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Roll. Roll. There be, I'm surprised. Did you just show me all of them? That'd be cool, man. So I don't have to like go around and search for them in Dragon World and such. Nice. But learning a word of Come power in, is only the first step. Master. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice. Give me a soul so I can unlock it. Do it now or burn. Okay. 
As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Rome. Dragon Soul. Ah. Do we just have sex? Oh, damn. You can master your new form. Okay. Force? Force? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the target. Oh, it's target. I'm sorry, I was making you the target. Seem easier that way. This is pretty much tutorial shit on how to use your shouts. Really, we're still in kind of the beginning stages of this game. Well done. Again. Tea bag and the ghost. Did it. Keep staring at each other. You learn quickly. Once more. <laughs> Four old guys that live up here in solitude and the cold. <laughs> I did it. In the shit. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. Damn right. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Alright, let's go to the courtyard. Because now we're going to learn a couple more shots in the courtyard, and then it's going to send me on a mission. And then we're going to hunt a dragon, but that'll be in the next episode. So it's going to take him another minute to see his next shout. I'm not going back in there. They need to hurt and just come out. In fact, I could probably just wait here an hour and they'll just show up in front of me. If you're impatient for people to come on, that's how you do it. We will now see how you learn a completely new shop. We're gonna learn a new shop. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Well, I have a shout that I can put shouts into the ground and teach people. Not a shout. Alright, I looks Chinese. It says. I don't know what it says. Whirlwind. <laughs> Come on. We need to shout. We need to shout. You know you make me want to shout. Put my hands up. Oh. It's the fucking worst. So I'm gonna have to like turn that on myself. I'm going to shout too. Oh, he has to give it to me first. Yes, he will. He will gift you his knowledge of wood. Oh, you're the second person I've had sex with through these shouts. Is this like a fucking orgy? Because I'm not down the fucking orgy. Alright, we're all done. Cool. Okay. No, I'm gonna do it with him. I'm gonna do it with him. Oh! <laughs> I did it already. I love how he says now your turn. Funny. I did it already. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ooh, did it. I'm the shit. What up? Your quick mastery of a new thum is. You look close to me. Astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I know I'm the shit. Thank you, what's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Worcester. What's that? He wants me to go and receive this fucking horn <laughs> to make matters easy for you guys. I'm gonna go and get this horn in this place. I have not been. I have been to a place close by there, so we'll jolly on over there and try to get this horn. I don't think this is too bad. I think we're going to get the horn and see, um, we're going to go there and see what's there with the horn. And then when we get it or whatever, it'll be the end of this video. I don't want it to be too big. Alright. You know you make me want to shout. Get my hands up and shout. Get my hands up. I don't know any other lyrics to that song, but yeah. 
I am a maid, so we use fire. Yeah. So we're gonna get we're gonna get a fireball, we're gonna get like ice spikes. We're gonna go get those soon. I know I know where I can buy them at. I just I've been doing missions that I've been getting around to it. Like I said earlier though, I've been playing for like an HD without recording it my laptop's been down. And I put a good six hours in it, so I've done a lot. It's been fun. What the hell Come here and this guy's already dead. Fuck fun in that. <laughs> yes, we are here. I do mighty jump. I take from the mighty chest of gold into more stamina. And then I go inside. So, um, this is our second dungeon, I think. I remember this dungeon is pretty small, actually, so. It should be interesting. I think we're gonna do some missions for uh, White Run. Kinda <clears throat> the idea I have after all this. <clears throat> I mean, we're gonna follow this a little bit more, but we'll see. <clears throat> you see how these guys are, like trying to burn a hole in the place? I don't know what this guy's fucking doing, but I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Kill with fire! Why are we even burning that guy? Maybe like on your side? It makes like no sense. Had this uh, dull mace thing going on where I just beat the fuck out people with dull maces. Thought it was cool. Started doing it with my cat. It's better with my cat. She has like these two awesome powerful maces who just whips ass wherever he goes. It's fun. It's fun. Can you use one mace? No, I don't know. No one's here, so we'll just <laughs> get our life back up that way. Like I said, I'm really trying to be a mage. I want to be like a powerful wizard, so I mainly just want to burn shit this whole time. Also, want to run through this. I've done it recently. It's not too bad. Let those guys kill her. <laughs> they do fucking funny. This guy, he's a dick. Damn, homie, could you be any more powerful? Bastard, I don't got much. It's tough to kill myself. But I can't go like this, like, like this. I think I didn't work as near as good as I wanted to. I'm gonna fail. Yeah, I'm about to take that full clothes and see if I can use it, but I don't think you can take clothes and help because I'm pretty sure you can help. Swim, like a bow. Yes, yeah, skeleton, something like that. Bastard, what the fuck is it? I do this way thing quite often, just, it's easier, like, my magic takes so long to like, regenerate, and I don't have many good weapons besides that mace, so. Really trying to keep the magic flowing. I'm not backtracking that much. I'm good at backtracking. Nope, heard someone come out. Why are you gonna die? Oh shit, throwing these guys again. Like, a mage versus a mage just doesn't work. You gotta bust out and just pull and do work. That should do so much more damage to these guys. They should go flying. Oh, gonna die. Gonna die. Fucking running. Can't run because these motherfuckers just do shit all over me. Don't have any potion to heal. Level up, that means if I level up, it'll give all my stats up immediately. So give me mad cup and give up my stats. That's what I like about leveling up. If you ever level up, you do it right away if you're about to die, and it'll, it gives you full health, full stamina, and all that stuff. So give you level up. Tips and tricks, this guy. <laughs> Alright. I was about to say, I can look up a nut. Hey guys, probably gonna get some potions of healing. Yeah. What's up? It's so hot! Scared me a little bit. 
We're getting 20 minutes in this, I really wanna rush through this because Yeah. Not cool. And then when we get past 20 minutes, these files are really big and take me all day to upload them. It's just not cool, you know what I mean? I keep thinking it's a bag of money and it is. I could have swore when I played that earlier, I like tried to get that and it didn't let me get it. And I was like, I thought this was money, and it was like, no, we're not money. And I tried to shout and it didn't move. It may have, I don't know. You make me wanna shout, put my hands up. Every time I say shout, I think of that song. And that commercial. Do you guys know it's, uh, I know it more of a commercial than the actual song? Shame, shame. We do this yet? Me going to that door just indicated that we're close. Oh yeah, I remember this. We, we get a shout. When I did this earlier, I like, fell off the balcony. It was kind of fucked up. Whoa, not fall off the balcony. What the bunch you got? I'm gonna trick him. He's gonna go that way to get me. And I'm gonna jump down here. Because I'm supposed to go this way. <laughs> I just tricked him. What a dummy. Run. I got my button stuck and won't run sometimes. Quest dude's an idiot. Oh shit. You're not. You're a strong one. The force is strong with this one. I died. Well, fuck a goat, man. Gosh, she's so weak. Like, my character I have, like, the one I actually worked on so much better. I want to say it's her. It's like her in five hours. That's what it is. That's like her in about ten parts is the one I have her in. Shit, man. That's a lot of work I have to do. It really sucks. I don't want to redo all this shit. <laughs> I really can't stress how I don't want to redo all this. It's like my third time doing this shit. What? Dude! Why is that shout so weak? That shout's supposed to be like major boss mode and you know, do it and it's like, fail. We're gonna play this in the fast mode. We're just gonna use this to heal. Damn it, quit freezing man. You noise the hell out of me. One thing, like, I'm always weak against the mages. I'm always weak against the mages. Just pick it off. Alright. Hopefully they followed me. Did they? Hell no. At least I can burn this guy, then. Burn. I really like how they put the, uh... What did you to burn? Oh, they did come. Good. They're all gonna burn in the fire. I'll go burn in the fire. You did zombie burn. Oh, shit. You're supposed to burn more in the fire, you son of a bitch. Like, if they stand there long enough, though, yeah. it, it destroys them. Like, it's just hilarious. Can't see these mixes in my way. Damn it. Past 20 minutes of this let's play, we need to get to the end. Is this the part where I get. Yes, okay, this is a good part where I get to shout and shit. Hopefully, I don't kill myself. Like four skeletons. Skeletons are easy though. They burn quite easy. They just fall apart. I like skeletons. Now this shot I'm about to get, like I missed it the first playthrough of this game I did. I totally missed it. Cause like you're not supposed to go down here. You're supposed to go the other way. I mean not you. I mean you can go anywhere, but like the main way you're supposed to go, not down here. Yeah. How about hurt myself? Let's get the shout. And this is going to be a damn 30 minute video. <laughs> I don't want to do more 30 minute videos. It's so damn long to upload. Oh well. It's a long let's play. I'll probably be doing it for the rest of the year. And into friggin' January. There's no other games coming out, so... I decided to give myself a challenge. I mean, like, seriously, this is a huge challenge to do this on a let's play. Like, seriously, I put 100 hours into my last game. I'm not saying I'll put 100 hours into this one. But I am saying, damn it, it's going to be a lot of me redoing stuff I'm already doing. It's okay though, I mean once I get past uh, certain parts and certain levels, it'll become a lot more funner. Like this is still just a whole bunch of new stuff and you're kind of really weak at first, especially trying to be a mage. 
once I start actually breaking into uh, the better stuff, we'll be doing a lot more better. And I'm also, I'm not going to be doing this step by step. Like, when we're, we're going to be cutting some stuff. I don't know, we're not going to be cutting anything in this video, but in later videos, it's going to be different. Okay, so this one, if I remember correctly, we need our shout, our new one. It's the only way to get through this. These things are little lights, and you run between all three of them, and then you do your shout, and you get through these doors. They open at a certain time. So run, one, two, three, and shout, and you make it through. Now I did that in the clothes, they're like on a timer. So that's how you do that. I don't want to wait here to get my life back up, but uh, yeah. That definitely took me a minute to do the first time I did it, and the second time I did it, I did it first try, and the third time, as you saw, I did it first try. I died earlier. <laughs> I was like, fuck this. Oh, this part's a little rough, too. Is this the one that, yeah. I'm gonna need to save real quick. I don't feel like redoing everything I've just done, and this part's kind of rough. I might die on this part, so I gotta be a little careful. What do I have when it comes to weapons? You, you're my favorite, you stay in my favorite. I might use you. I say this part's hard, you wanna fight these fighters, and these damn fire traps keep showing up and hurting me. That guy, he's the guy for me. He's just... Yeah, would you hate me if I just kind of closed the door on that spider? Yeah, I mean, I just... I really don't want to die again. And uh, I didn't have that much health. He probably would have killed me. I would have sucked. And we're almost 30 minutes in. I'm just trying to get through this, you know what I mean? So you've seen me fight a damn spider before, ain't no big deal. He just, he could have, he could have really fucked me up. I didn't feel like having to reload the fight. Watch this, it's cool. Ooh, visual effects. Ooh, I actually don't think I have to fight anything here. This is it. Ooh. Pretty. That frost spider that's calling my name. He's like, bitch, I know you ran. I know you ran from me, so I'm gonna just go back and kick his ass out. So it's kind of bad to not kick his ass. I'm sorry I didn't kill you. I came back to kill you. Killed your babies, you might as well kill you, right? You're now dead. I'm not a bitch. I went back and took care of my shit. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. I didn't have to, but I just, you know, might as well, right? So anyway, you get here to get the tusk and mysterious note. Failed mission? Dragonborn, I need to speak of you. Urgent. Rent the attic room at the sleepy giant at the sleeping giant inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you there, a friend. So, um, yeah, so we actually didn't get what we needed to get. So we're gonna have to go rent a room, and we're gonna have to see who's there, and what do they want. And all these coins are bullshit, only one each, and they're just there to make me have to pick them up. Bastards. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Yeah, we get some pretty cool stuff that we can sell. We get a cool robe. And um, that was the uh, the Greybeard quest, pretty much. And we're going to leave now, and we're going to, in the next part, we're going to rent that room. And we're going to see what the friend has to say and get our horn. So yeah, that's uh, 30 no or 28 minutes of the next Kyrim episode. And thank you guys for watching. And we will continue on uh, at that place, and we'll get a room, and we'll start the next mission. So thank you guys for watching. That's like then out. Talk to you guys later. Don't forget to thumbs it up, rate, and if you're new here, subscribe. Peace. Woody.